Well, here we go, folks. June week one, 2019. Triple H. Nice hustle last few weeks. Hey, Triple H, appreciate that. I could tell you were stressed out out there for a while, but it took like a bullet. Only did what I had to. That's all we could ever do, eh? But anyways, pr pretty big math. Over the next weeks, we'll decide. We plan to decide who's gonna be in the next Money to Bank match. I've been looking forward to this milestone. You and an army of superstars. I'm telling all of the guys the same thing. I'm telling you now. Every show of this week is crucial in deciding who will be in that match. I think there's an ever so fight up front. I treat every match as a big deal. Some matches matter more than others. You know that. Still, my fans are looking at, out rooting for me whenever I'm out there. I'm conscious of that. This was that saying then. Be on top of your game all month long. Understand? I hear you. Won't let you guys down. Hey, uh, Mick, I need some screen time this month. That a fact? I'd say I really deserve it. Well, that's a statement. Can you help me up? Lots of guys in this locker room think they deserve on air time. It's why we make that determination. Otherwise, it'd be a battle world 24-7 since they all say I'm the best. Put me wrong and I could consider it. Mick, I am the best. This is your grand argument? Its simplicity is, is reinforced by its truth. Oh, wow, okay, man. Run for president. You'll win a landslide. Such a gloriously persuasive campaign slogan. Hell, get rock on your ticket while you're at it. That's all well and good, but the truth is it's all good about momentum right now. Gotta keep doing these things week after week. Captivate the audience, you understand? Do that by any means necessary. No one will stop you from going out there any way you want. I just don't see that from you yet. You better I'll prove you wrong. Don't get bitter when th this show becomes mine. Do it. Could use a vacation ref a lot. Thank you. I don't even know what you said. Mm. Mm. Speak with Todd Mullen at the production area. Yo, hot shots. All ready for you. Normal match, normal enough. Sure. I was told I'm not doing enough. How's that? Pretty decent tra 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 trajectory you got going on, I should think. Apparently, I have to do something more. Something special to capitalize the WDMers. Let me go out there and talk to W News. Match has been set, man. I can't do this with a high approval. This won't take long. I got something to say. Oh, uh, all right. Listen, this is a one-time thing, okay? He's you now coming out this here, cut a quick, quick we'll promo. His first time here on Raw televised after switching from SmackDown Live. Oh no! Well, when I think about who should be in a Money Bank match, I think about me. I've put on incredible months of spellbinding shows. Some of the most memorable we've seen in the WWE in the past few years. As a payoff for that effort, it's only fitting I be given the opportunity to seize that briefcase with both hands.
the, their way is paved an easy road for some superstars who I won't name, but you've probably already thought of one. Before I'm done speaking, I'm sure you'll have thought of a few more. Unlike them, I have to struggle for every ounce of recognition. For every gram of opportunity, I fight the good fight. If money in a bank matches are meant for one type of person, that should be superstars who are truly beloved by the people. There's something special about those matches, about the high stakes represented by that hanging briefcase. I think it's only fair that people get be given what they want. I'm ready to put everything that I have into that ring tonight. Not only do I promise to win that briefcase, but I'll make it a truly spectacular event. After all, anything worth doing is never without style. Part of victory is the path I take to get there. That's one of the many reasons why the audience lights up when I'm involved. From blasting out of the Performance Center, barreling through NXT, and the months here on WWE, we can all agree that I've earned a shot at the briefcase. Nothing I didn't say the briefcase itself, I still have to earn that, but as per having a shot at the Money in the Bank match itself, I've proven myself. Me. But, uh, okay. Oh no, my wedding right now. No, I'm depressed now. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. Oh god, no, please. Yo, Teddy Boy, the hell is wrong with you? What the promo went over well. Yeah, pretty good promo, but Vince is pissed off something fierce. He got me in deep trouble, man. Really, I'm sorry. I never expected the heat would come down on you. Too late for apologies. Vince already booked you in a two-on-one handicap match tonight. Come back when ready. And you better hurry, too. Against two, that was the question. I wish you good luck if I wasn't so steamed. We'll say this though, you're gonna need a heat ton of it. Oh god, who am I fighting? Our next matchup oh. is all about the <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> your real fan favorite. Against Bizongo. Bizongo, my balls. I thought it was gonna be like Braun Strowman and Cena, Braun Strowman and Reigns, you know? That was gonna be hard. He made it look like it was hard. <sighs> I could finish this one off in a breeze. Breeze. Are you guys on Vol uh, SmackDown, by the way? Are you guys like every week on SmackDown, but apparently on Raw now because I got trade too. Are you like attracted to me? But this is my first match on Raw, boy. This is Caesar's first entrance on Monday nights on Raw. No, it actually isn't. My bad. Oh God, no, no, I'm stupid. He was on Raw before. Oh, he's so tall. He's 5'11". How tall are you guys? Dog below 5'11". God, what's happened to the average growth size of humans?
one will be a handicap match featuring two superstars against one. Oh, we don't Hot. need a Man, I feel bad to bury you guys. We're ready to go for oh, gave, gave, gave you that thought you were going to get a move in. Now it just kicks from Clyde. Uh, not Clyde. Oh, wait. Oh, my God. The Caesar, Caesar, Caesar's dead. Oh, no. Tubby's arguing with the vet. Poor vet, man. The first, the first match season one here on Vols is a match against Braun Strowman, which was a pretty freaking good match if you ask me. And Caesar was able to pull out with that match with the W and his life still intact. So I say that was the last time he was on Raw was a good match, but he's currently one to two. Uh, uh yeah, on Raw. So if he wins this, he's going to win two matches and lost two matches on Raw. Because he lost to Big Show. He lost to Mark Henry. And he beat Braun Strowman. But then he got traded to SmackDown after being on the Indies episode 14. He went to SmackDown, which was about 14 matches ago. Not 14 matches, but 14 episodes. But Caesar putting it all on the line here against Breezango. I'm assuming this was some sort of punishment that got that Caesar got to be in this matchup, maybe from the promo. But it seems like this was a punishment, but the severity of the punishment is highly debatable. Oh, Caesar stopping Tyler Breeze from getting a hot tag on Dongo. Breezango are fan favorites, but can they really get the job done as a rank in the ring? That's what we all wonder, but we never find out the answer. Huge missile drop kick. Oh no, he tags in. He tags in Dongo. Huge power bomb. Now Caesar is learning the disabilities of a 2v1 handicap match. Oh, Raph, Raph, you ruining, you ruining. Nope, Raph, you don't ruin matches like this. Is Caesar hitting Tyler Breeze with the silencer? This might be it, guys. The situation just got real bad for Tyler Breeze. Caesar, Irish whip. Jumps over him, and now a power bomb. And now Caesar goes for the cover. Will this be it? One, two, no. Telebreeze kicks out. That tiger bomb needs to be more offensive in order to actually knock his opponents out first try. Just like uh, his father Clyde's uh, punch was. That KO punch. That much that punch was brutal. No one kicked out of it but Bo Dallas. And that means something. And now I think he's going for those triple suplexes. Butterfly suplexes. Two. And the final suplex. I will be absolutely shocked. I think I can safely speak for all of us when I say that this beating he's taking is pretty tough to watch. Caesar, oh, DDT. Might leave him down for good. He's not looking good here, Byron. No, he's got to get up. Telebreeze tags and friend Dango. And now if I'm not a huge drop kick. This match is definitely testing his battle, guys. At this point, they both look to be about evenly matched. A truly punishing stretch. It's like a light went on and it's shining bright. He's just about there.
Really? It's it fixed in. He got him to tap out. <sighs> Here are your winners. Tyler Breeze and I need a rematch because the objective was to win, so Oh god. No, I don't feel like doing this match again, man. Caesar, neckbreaker. Caesar, bringing out all of the moves here tonight to win this one, Hurricane Rana. Oh, Breeze. How did that do so much damage to me, man? DT. Oh, Tabri is sending him over. The fan. Tonga. Caesar sends him to crash it towards the corner. He goes for the monkey flip. Monkey flip it to huge splash. It to just knocks Fun Dongo out and leg drop. And another leg drop. Oh, he goes for the four corner. No. Nope. Tried to hit it, but it wasn't unable. Oh, huge reversal. Y'all, man, we, 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 we skipping stuff out here, you know, man? Uh, basically what happened, though, was, um, after the pay-per-view, I went to, um, Raw, you know? Saw Happy there on Raw, and I came here, told Todd, I'm calling a freaking promo, I caught a freaking promo, and then I got put into this 2v1 handicap match, and I lost my footage. So now y'all know what happening. So now we can situate ourselves. You know we can situate ourselves we property, property. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm just getting this match over with. I may or may not have lost the first time, uh, but we forgot that. We forgot and forgave. Um, Fandango is a bad man. Uh, Fandango. Oh uh, please don't. Oh no, I don't like that boot. Fandango though, he's just gonna get. He's just gonna get tagged out like literally in a second. Like punch that boy. And then Fonda uh Tyler Breeze gonna tag himself in. Boom, signature to Tyler Breeze. And I win. Because I am the Caesar is the best. I'm not the best. I'm just a no life stupid stupid friggin' commentator, boy. Oh no, but uh Tyler Breeze uh looking to come back after the cheese at delivery failed. Oh, Tyler Breeze failing there, but Caesar, this could be a short episode, by the way. So I recorded a lot. I just want to get this match in. Caesar, oh my God, jumping splash. And now Caesar picking him up. Go for that power bomb. Boom. It, it, it was a rope break. So now Caesar got to continue on. Caesar dragging him, dragging him over. And now it looks like he's, he's trying to make this boy tap. No, but but not but nothing happens. Tyler Breeze escapes the submission. Huge check and Rana. Drop kick there to Tyler Breeze. Tyler Breeze trying to tag him once again. And he finally tags in. No, Fandango coming in with a mission. 
the man with the mission. It's like a light went on and it's shining Oh no. Oh, Caesar, Caesar may, may lose. Oh God. Oh no. Oh, oh God. No, Caesar, Caesar. Caesar is on the receiving end of this assault. Um, it's not good. I don't know if you'll be able to kick out of these maneuvers. Uh, oh, Fondangi boy going to the top. Oh, the Caesar reverses. Huge kick to Caesar. And then Fandango gets sent back towards the Tyler Breeze. Tyler Breeze, you know he wants to tag in. But will he tag in? No, he will not tag in. So you send him crashing right towards Breeze. Breeze rethinks his life. And then Fandango walks up towards you. Your Fandango should be pretty cool about it. Fond should send your Fandango over there at their exact position. And then he'll, he should follow you. You send him once again, crashing into a corner that time. And you send him crashing into the corner and do your, do your uh, pretty cool uh, signature. Uh, Fandango is going to be a little bit confused, so you have like a minute there. Uh, you, you find Dongo, you should knock him down because he will be a problem to you. And then you uh, you Irish whip your uh, Tyler Breeze. Yeah. And then you grab him and tend to your power bomb finisher on Tyler Breeze. And then you realize, oh no, my Fondango got my back up. So let's kick my Fondango down. Uh, let's pin my Tyler Breeze. And Caesar wins. Oh no. But that was just that match guys, so if you guys did in or 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 then please leave a like and a thumbs up the next episode will be longer oh god I was quite victory. I think I'm ready for three on one. Don't tap me. Can't deny pops for you for falling off like that. Good job, all things considered. So yeah, that's it guys. If you enjoyed, leave a like. And I'll see you guys next time. Sorry it was so short, but I'll see you guys next time. Peace.